Hello everyone, welcome to the root of my happiness, Joy Root Jojo. This is the 15th video in the AZ104 video tutorial series. We are in the third module, Azure Storage. Hope you have watched my previous videos related to AZ104. If you have not watched, I suggest you to please watch that before we get into this video. Alright, in last video we have discussed about Azure Storage account and different type of data storage about the blob storage we have discussed about the container how to upload the files to the container and how you can share that with the other user all that we have seen in our previous video this video is mainly focusing on azure file share all right from the in the azure storage account we had created azure storage account in the in the last video we have named it as lab storage 2025 when we click on that under data storage we could see container and about the container and how to create a container and how to create directories and how to upload the file into that all that we have already discussed now let us come to the second point which is file share i have already created a file share here we will create one more file share and we will attach that to uh, one particular VM and we'll see all that. Before doing that practically, we should first understand what is file share in Azure. On behalf of this video, at the end of this video, I shall add certain questions related to file share that is part of uh, AC104 exam. So you can uh, answer those questions at the end of this video. Anyway, first of all, let us understand what is file share. I have already created a PowerPoint here and let us try to understand file share with the help of this PowerPoint. Azure file share or Azure files offers fully managed file, file shares in the cloud that are accessible via industry standard protocol like SMB protocol and some other protocol. Azure file sync is a service that allow you to catch several Azure file shares on an on-premise windows server or cloud virtual machine we are well familiar with the file server in on-premise we create a file server and all the files uh, will be stored in that file server and we give permission uh, to certain folders to some particular team whoever is having permission will be able to access that particular folder so this is the on-premise practice about about the file server about the files about the for uh, folder access folder sharing but when it comes to azure azure offers an azure file share so here in azure file share the data will be there in the cloud data is in the cloud but in the case of file server data is in on premise here it is fully accessible it is it is in the cloud and through some protocol we can map that to a virtual machine even to a standalone server or any platform it, it is it can be done in windows mac linux whatever uh, platform you can map that azure file share to that particular vm that particular machine this is my server windows server 2022 so in this uh, windows server i have attached the file share for us the files azure file share i have mapped to this particular I have mapped to this particular server and I have created a folder here in the name of home. Now I, what I am going to do, I am going to create an, one more folder here and I name it as like office, office, the folder name called office that which we created in from the server here. It is available here in the portal like in the name of office hope you got a basic idea about Azure file share now let us see why Azure files is useful is that first benefit is that it replace or supplement on-premise file server it replace or supplement on-premise file server that is the first benefit of using Azure files then the other one is something like uh, consider global access when we consider some kind of uh, global access then Azure files come in picture directly access file shares by using most operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS and Linux from anywhere in the world that is advantage of 
assure files so that doesn't that that is what meant by consider global global access then can comes consider lift and shift support lift and shift application to the cloud with assure files for the app that expect a file share to store file application or user data so that is this is the another benefit of having assure files then the third one consider using assure file sync replicate assure file shares to windows servers by using assure file sync you can uh, replicate that to the windows server through some protocols so that is the other benefit of assure files then consider shared applications store shared application settings such as configuration files in assure files that is the other benefit of having assure files and there comes the last one consider diagnostic data use assure files to store diagnostic data such as logs metrics and crash dumps in the shared locations for that you can use assure files so this is the advantage of this is the benefit of using assure files i think now it is clear why assure files is useful before we create assure files and uh, go to the practical let us just compare assure files with assure blob storage assure files or file shares with assure blob storage assure files provide smb and nfs protocols client libraries and rest interface that allow access from anywhere to stored files from anywhere the stored files you can access through the help of these two protocols and here assure blob storage provides client libraries and rest interface that allow unstructured data to be stored and access massive scale in block blobs here in the uh, we have discussed blobs or manage unstructured data all right then the other difference is that file shares in assure file share true directory objects here are flat namespace data assure files is accessed through file shares across multiple virtual machine here blob data assure storage is accessed through a container assure file share is ideal for lift and shift application to the cloud that already use native file system apis uh, assure blob storage is ideal for application that need to be support streaming and random access scenarios this is a kind of comparison between assure file share and assure blob storage also all right now what we can do we can go to the assure portal and create an assure files there and we can attach that to the to a virtual machine we can sync that to a virtual machine and see how it works all right the assure portal i have searched for my storage account my storage account is lab storage 2025 Inside lab storage 2025, I have under data storage. I have container and file share. Let us click on file share. That will land over here, and you could see a file share which I have already created in the name of file share for test. Now let me create one more file share here. For that, I have to click on this plus symbol for the file share. Let me click on that. We have to name the file share here. I name it as Azure Video. for file share here you have to ch uh, check for the here now you have to select the access tier hot cool and transaction opt optimized what is the difference between all the three it is clearly mentioned here hot means balanced storage and transaction pricing for workload that have good measure of both cool means most uh, efficient storage pricing for storage intensive workload transaction optimized lowest transaction cost pricing for transaction heavy workload that do not need low latency offered by premium file share recommended while mi migrating data to azure file so let us go with uh, trans transaction optimized maximum capacity it is 100 tb let me click on next here the it, it has got some default backup policy and the vault name it has come default we have in the created anything over here you can create a new policy if you required for a backup policy and backup frequency is daily at 730 pm utc 
this comes by default i haven't created anything if you want to customize that you can do it over here next review and create it let me click on create now now the file share has been created you here you get the overview of that file share it's in storage rg resource group this is the location and the subscription id is here uh, share url it is shows it shows you redundancy is local redundant storage this uh, actually inherit from the storage account if the storage account is locally redundant so even the file share also uh, everything will be locally redundant here you have the soft delete for 14 days and the basic details about the file share is shows you over here and if you click on the browse there is no folder or nothing over here you can create if you want to uh, create some uh, directories or uh, you want to directly upload some files you can do here you can upload a picture or something uh, even from the uh, cloud so what i am going to do i am just i am going to uh, upload this particular picture azure storage all right so the file is getting uploaded we want to create another directory you can add a directory here while clicking by uh, clicking over here yeah this file got up, up, uploaded now so if you refresh you will be able to see that file here yeah storage logo.png that file is visible here if you want to create some directory you name it like a uh, picture let me click on ok so a directory a folder has been created inside this directory if you want to upload something you can upload it all right now the next if you want to change the tire here you can change the tire access tire as we have seen <coughs> transaction optimized hot cool so from the transaction from the transaction optimized you want to change to hot or cool you can do it over here and if you you can set the quota here uh, present quota it is 1 lakh uh, 2400 uh, gb this is almost near to 100 tb i believe so that much quota it is available here if you want to change that you can uh, if you want to limit the quota you can do that great now what we have to do we want to connect this azure file share with one virtual machine let us try to do that so let me click on connect whatever drive letter you want you can select it here this time i select the drive letter uh, w through some store you can do it through authentication method active directory or microsoft and or storage account key uh, let us go with the storage account key it will give you a script we will have to run this script in the virtual machine uh, in the powershell of that particular virtual machine so let me copy this nda script control c let me go back here and uh, let me come to the c drive so let me open a notepad and copy that particular script that we got from the portal Notepad in the name of new file share dot ps1 let me save that all right so if i go back to the tools folder right now you go to the this pc c drive tools folder you could see a new file share uh, file in uh, ps1 format in the powershell format as a powershell script so let me go to the windows powershell right click and run as administrator click on yes and here let me go to that particular location which is in c drive tools so cd and cd tools so i am in the uh, tools folder right now and we have the file called new file share power script let me run that now all right it is so it has successfully uh, added the file share we connected the file share with uh, uh, the server running the script the azure video for file share it is available here it got uh, whatever we have created whatever directory we have created in the cloud that is start appearing here and even the photo that we uploaded the picture which we uploaded from the cloud that start appearing here if you open that you could see that uh, particular picture now let us create a folder here from the uh, on-premise from the vm i'm going to name it like video 
and keep it as it is let me inside the video i'm going to add a text file let that be there now let us go back to the portal and see whether these uh, folder are appearing there in the cloud now so let me go back let me close this and refresh the page yeah it starts showing the new uh, directory in the name of video if you click on that you could see the text file which we created from the on premise so this is an overall about uh, azure file share then if you want to create an smb file share then you have to open the port 445 smb communicate over tcp port 445 double four five make sure your port 445 is open also make sure your firewall is not blocking tcp port 445 from the client machine what i suggest you create the uh, azure you create a storage account create the file share connect that to your vm and uh, try uh, explore all the options that microsoft offers related to file share at the end of this video i'm adding certain question that may appear for the ac104 exam the com you can give the answer as a comment in this video that's it bye we'll meet in the other video till then goodbye